Getting the opinion of youths and having them more actively involved in development is important for the country's future. This was pointed out during a workshop held today to discuss ways of improving youth participation for development. The workshop was co-hosted by the Australian Youth Organisation, Tree and the country's Youth Against Corruption Association and The Voice. Gregory Avira reports. For many of these participants, working with youths is a main part of their responsibility in their respective organizations. Fully understanding the potential that youths can play in driving development and bringing out that potential to benefit the country is the reason for today's gathering. Participating in the workshop are program managers from NCDC's Urban Youth Employment Project, Caritas PNG, Kokoda Trek Foundation and the Well Vision. The workshop is the first of its kind to be co-hosted by youth organizations both in the country and abroad, held to discuss ways of getting youths more involved in the development process. A co-host of the workshop is Australia's largest youth-run organization, Oak Tree. One of its program's director, Sophie Pedu, outlines the purpose of hosting this workshop. What we're doing is trying to look at and explore the value that young people can add to development work um, and look at how they can be included in organisational governance as well as different areas of project cycles. So looking at um, youth participation in project design, implementation um, and monitoring evaluation. So what we really want to see is um, development processes and policies to be reflecting the opinions and perspectives of young people. Youths make up over half of the country's total population. This is an important grouping that will see the country into the future. Tapping into this large portion and getting them more involved can determine how well the country progresses. Nancy Tawampe, a youth facilitator with the NCDC's Urban Youth Employment Project, says youths can contribute a lot to society but must be given the opportunity to do so. I would say that youths are the foundation of the society. Uh, they need to be tapped on. They have skills and abilities and talents given to them by God. And uh, when they are not tapped, that's when they see themselves as hopeless and as an outcast in the community. As this is the first of such a workshop, only a limited number of participants were involved. But the need for wider involvement is something that is being planned for the future. Today's workshop has received praise with a call for continued programs in the years to come. I'm very happy with the project, indeed very excited. I would like this kind of uh, training or workshop to be an ongoing uh, activity in the country. Gregory Avira, NBC National News, Port Mosby.